Hey guys, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you click the bell so that you are part of the notification squad. And if you'd like to join my channel membership, which is now called the Chatterbox, you can click the link in the description bar below. It is $4.99 to join, that is per month, and also um, you have to be 18 years old of <laughs> 18 years old or older. Um, today I am wanting to talk to you guys about relationships within the community, building relationships, maintaining relationships, and also fallouts. Um, you know, I have been the center of controversy many, many times, <laughs> more than I like to um, admit to. Um, but it comes with the territory. Um, the more known you become in the community, the more, um, more issues come to you and come your way. Um, that's just, you know, part of it. And, um, but anyway, um, first thing I want to say is shout out to all my new customers that just recently made a purchase with me um, with babies that I created myself. Um, I have met some wonderful, wonderful ladies and um, I'm going to share this one story and if it bite me in the butt in the end, so be it, but I'm gonna share it anyway. Um, but it's always kind of hard when you're not face to face with a person and you're not seeing a person or talking to a person on a day to day basis. But sometimes online, it can be a catch 22, in my opinion. It can go either way. Sometimes online allows people to have the courage to be who they really are and not sugarcoat or not, you know, be afraid or intimidated for whatever personal appearances they may have or whatever issues that they may have online allows you like, you know, chatting. That's why online dating is so popular and stuff like that. It allows you to be who you really are and you don't have to hide behind anything. But also on the flip side, it allows some people to be everything that they are not in person as well. So you never know what you're really getting online. And a lot of times we just see people in passing. Like you may watch this video today, but you may never watch any of my past videos or you may not watch any of my videos going forward. So all you know is what your impression is of me in this video. Um, also, you may see another video before you even come and check out my videos and hear someone talking negative towards about me and saying, oh, she's this, she's that. And then you, if you're that type of person to take what someone else say as the truth or, you know, the Bible, then you may actually already have formed your opinion before you even gave me a chance. So online and being on YouTube, especially um, as a YouTube creator, can be really tricky, um, which is why I believe in second chances sometime. I do believe in sometime I will see people speaking negative towards me on other videos and stuff like that. And I will like be like, oh, okay, you know, I'm mindful of it. But then later they may start to come and they may say little things to me you know, in a pleasant manner. And I'm like, okay, well maybe they just prejudge me type thing. So in those cases, I do believe in second chances, but when somebody intentionally goes after you, attack you or build an army up against you, um, you don't want to put yourself back in that line of fire. Um, another thing, you know, we're all human, life is life. And yes, YouTube is a place for entertainment. You know, we are creators and sometimes, you know, you get a little carried away, especially when you got people in the comment sections hyping you up or you got, you're on a live stream and people, you know, cheering you on and you just, you know, you just get caught up in the hype. Um, but it's, you know, it can be challenging, but as far as, you know, transactions with artists, between artists and collectors, um, I normally just try to keep everything business 
but I have built a rapport and I don't know if you want to call it a friendship, but I will say a type of business relationship or, you know, maybe even a little bit even more casual because if, you know, like recently I've had customers and they turn around and they share, they come back and they share photos with me and stuff. And, you know, we kind of chat on different doll, you know, doll topics and stuff like that. And it's really nice. It's actually refreshing. Um, and I really got to know some of the people, like I didn't know them when they first bought the dolls for me, but after they bought the dolls and we started talking and finding out what they're looking for and collecting, and even a few of them, I've actually helped them find dolls from other artists as well that they were looking for something maybe that I don't do or don't have. And I'm like, okay, well, let me tell you, point you in the right direction type thing. So, you know, this hobby comes with a lot. It's very emotional. It can be a very, very positive experience. Um, but it also have its its drama points and its rocky roads. Um, but I'm going to tell you a story about a situation that happened to me. I'm going to leave all names out and try not to put as much detail in it um, as I want the person to remain anonymous. But there was a situation where I... Um, one of my commenters was pretty rough in my opinion. I took offense to the things that they were saying and I didn't want to have anything to do with them. <clears throat> um, and they ended up writing me and we talked and everything and I still had my reservations. Um, I'm still going to say that I'm probably one of those people that still always have a guard up when something goes wrong. But <clears throat> I still kept my guard up and all this and stuff. And over time, this person just seemed to be a really cool person. And um, they just have a, a different type of personality where they're kind of similar to mine, actually. And sometimes that's another thing. If you both have direct personalities or you may come across a little abrasive then sometimes you kind of clash a little bit but this person this individual I end up finding out that I actually enjoy their comments enjoy their con you know their content and stuff and we ended up just hitting it off really cool now I'm gonna I'm not gonna say that we're best friends or anything like that but it was totally different from what I thought they would be. You know what I mean? After the couple incidents that was unpleasant. So, you know, sometimes we, we, we jump to conclusions too fast. I am quick to do that because like I said, I've been burned a thousand of times and I know that, you know, there's quite a bit of people that, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, she tells half truths. She do this, she do that. But they, leave out a lot of details as well so you know everybody have a side to a story but um i'm just saying online can be difficult but it can also be very fun especially if you're a person that doesn't get out that often you don't you know you're not a party person you have a lot of work you know like for me i work a lot then i have my children you know, I don't have time to go out and social mingle a whole lot. You know, the most I might go is to my neighbor's house or something. Um, so, you know, the online interaction is kind of like entertainment for me, like cable TV. Um, which I think I watch YouTube more than I watch TV. So, oh, I was supposed to be dressing her this whole time. But, yeah, so... I really, I really, really um, hope that you guys um, find the positive in it. If you have a bad experience, don't write it off as it being the whole community is like that. Um, if you get a bad doll, don't, if I had got, went off the very first bad doll and stopped in, I would never have collected and seen as many dolls as I've seen, you know. Every now and then you're going to have a bad, you know, experience. 
it's just life. Nothing's perfect in life. But don't let it ruin it for you. Um, like I said, I've met some awesome people. I've met someone and I tease them all the time and they tease me. They say I'm tolerable. Um, I want to go a little deeper in the chatterbox about this subject um, as I'm feeling like I want to talk about this. I really want to um, say some things and I'm just going to get it off my chest. I just want to say it. But I've met some wonderful people. Um, I have traveled places that I would not have traveled um, if it wasn't for this hobby. Um, I've taken chances, like I said, I've, what it was last year or the year before last, I don't know. I think it was last year, maybe, or, or the year before last, I can't remember. But I actually got on the road and went to Atlanta. That's something like I don't even want to drive across town. So driving to a whole nother state was a big to do for me. And I met some ladies there and I, you know, got on a plane. I had never been on a plane before. thought I would never do that. I did that. You know, just meeting people, you know, in person. It was really nice. But it's nice when, you know, I had a friend that I met through the dolls here. And we used to talk every day. And, man, we shared so many stories. I don't even know if I've shared that much with people that I met in person. Um... But we we had so much in common outside of the dolls and stuff. And um, I really, really consider her to be a real friend. Um, so, you know, I've had an artist that I had been really, really close to. Um, and not that nothing, like, major happened or anything. I think we just started to see things differently in the community and you know we're we just don't talk like that anymore but you know I'm my point is is that you can meet some really nice people she, these are too fancy for this little sweatsuit so I'm gonna have to go get her some regular socks I'm just trying to see how she'll fit this fill this little outfit out it actually looks really cute on her so far I don't know about this top oh. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'll have to break this up in a second part. Um, and I'll talk about fallouts, um, because, you know, of course, with anything, sometimes things go bad. Sometimes you have a disagreement, you know, sometimes, you know, you have to be careful too. I've noticed, like, I've seen this happen to other people as well. People can see you have a closeness with someone in the community and they become jealous of your relationship with that person. You know, rather it's they wish they were friends with that person or they just don't like one of those people that just don't like to see nobody happy type thing. And they will, you know, instigate things and try to come between you and your friendship. And it's, it, I know it sounds elementary, but it kind of is like that. That's just how it is. It, it really is that petty um, sometimes. So, you know, be mindful of that too. If you have a friend and you really consider a person as a friend, don't let nobody else come tell you nothing about your friend. Um, you can listen, you know, because you never know if that person really isn't for you. But, you know, at least have that conversation with your friend you know before you you know fall out and and lose a good friendship over you know over that you know um so yeah just 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 really um really think about that type stuff when you're When you're having friends and people, you know, I don't know. It's just crazy. It's kind of like, you know, I don't know. But yeah, you, 
you know, but sometimes, you know, falling out publicly is not the good good thing to do. You know, it's like a big to do, but everybody will be there for the views and the everybody will be there to get the laughs and add their two cents in it. But at the end of the day, the, the people that are actually um, falling out are the ones that's, that's taking the loss one way or the other. So um, stay tuned. I will try to come back for this and continue with this um, and talk a little bit more. Um, leave me a comment in the comment section of what you think about this video. Um, do you want me to continue? Um, and um, yeah, so I will see, see you guys later maybe. <laughs> Bye-bye.